Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at plotting data on a second axis. So for example, if I've gone and grabbed this data and for some reason I've used insert and just created a regular 2D column chart and perhaps done some work that I don't want to have to undo, then how am I going to get the data that is currently not showing on this chart onto a second axis? Because the problem with this chart is that, for example, for this person's data, you can see that their coursework is a hefty 375 points or 375 somethings. Their exam results, however, is just 0.9. 90% is 0.9. So this is smaller than one 375th of this. And that's why these exam results aren't showing up on the chart. They're being plotted. You can see them in the legend, but you can't see them on the chart because they're such small figures. So let's see how we could go ahead and plot them. The first thing that we need to be able to do with this chart is to actually select the data. And you can do that from the format tab over here in the chart area. You can just go and click to select exam results and you'll see that they're selected. So now whatever we're working with is just targeting the exam results because they're the ones that we can't see. Well, over here in the format data series with these little columns here, we get an option to plot things on a secondary axis. So we're going to click that and we're a fraction of the way where we need to be because here are these values in the chart, but it's just made nonsense of the chart at the same time. So what we need to do is to change how this is being plotted. At the moment, it's sort of changing the color of the chart in a ridiculous way. What we're going to do is just right click here and choose change series chart type. That opens up this dialog where we can get access to our exam results. You can see that we're about to set up a combo chart. But at the moment, we've got a clustered column. We don't want that. What we want is the exam results to be on a line. And we can choose the kind of line that we want. There's lines with markers and there's just plain lines that we could use. We can choose whichever one we want to use. And you can see it's being plotted on this secondary axis. We'll just click OK. And now we've got this percentage axis that's showing the exam results as well as the underlying coursework results for these people. So we now have a chart that makes it a whole lot easier to understand our students. Somebody who's got very little in coursework but has done very well on the exam is showing up immediately. Even though this value itself is quite small, it's still being shown where it should be on the chart because it is an exam result of a very high value. It's 92%. So I hope this helps you when you need to change a chart so that you're plotting data on a second axis. Of course, if you knew or recognized this beforehand, when you go and create your chart, let's go and create a chart using this option here, the quick analysis option. Let's go to charts and we can hover over it and we could have got to that clustered chart type perhaps a little bit more quickly and easily had we seen ahead that we were going to have trouble and chosen the right chart type at that point. So it's easy enough to fix it once you've already done it by just following along our instructions. Now, if we want that chart with markers, we're just going to right click on here and choose change series chart type. And here, instead of line, we could choose line with markers. It's already preset. That's the only thing that we need to change. And this time we get lines with markers. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.